What is happening to Chelsea Football Club? With over 200 million pounds spent, a flurry of young, unproven players brought in, and the appointment of a manager who has no experience in the Premier League, Chelsea seemed to be in a build up to chaos. If you are a Chelsea fan who follows the club, you may have a better understanding of the business that is happening within the club. But as someone who is standing from the outside, all I can see are red flags that can hinder the future success of Chelsea and the players' careers. Starting with Chelsea's transfer policy, if you look at the business Chelsea has done in this summer's transfer window, we can see that they have brought in nine players for a sum of 190 million euros, according to TransferMarket.com. The average age of these players is 21, so this means that Chelsea are clearly building for the future. You can also see this when they are giving nine-year contracts to players who are 18, 19, and 20 years old. Now hear me out, building a squad for the future is not normally a problem in football. I actually find it exciting when teams are slowly nurturing young players into reaching their world class potential. But the problem with Chelsea is that they are showing no confidence to the, the young players that they're bringing in. Players like David D'Souza, Angelo, Chukwuneka, Cassidy, and Stavo, who unfortunately has been dubbed with the cursed next messy tag have been brought in into a team where competition is rampant and a squad of 42 players taking a starting place in the team is only going to cause friction among the players this is because every player is going to have to take whatever some chance that they're given this means that Chelsea is going to build a team of individuals who are trying to build their own brand rather than a team that's competing to establish themselves as a powerhouse in England how can these young players feel like they can build up their football careers at Chelsea? But the next Messi, the next Ronaldo, or the next Kylian Mbappe are being brought in every transfer window. Okay, as a Chelsea supporter, you may not have a problem with 10 young players being brought in and given 10 year contracts every year. But what happens if your club is hit with a transfer ban? I'm sure at least 50% of the players Chelsea bring in may have the potential to reach the top. But what happens to the other 50% who flop and are now sitting on the bench earning millions and won't leave because of the ridiculous co contracts that they have been given? As a United fan, I know all about players who just bounce holes when they're given a big paycheck. Players who drop their fitness levels, drop their footballing levels, and switch off their hunger for success. Players who have these traits are not good news for any club, and Chelsea seems to be open to having players like these come in. I could end up being wrong, of course, and every play could turn out to be amazing, but I'm pretty sure that has never happened. There will always be a flop, and if that flop decides to drop their head and write out their lucrative contract, Chelsea will have a big problem that can affect the, that can affect them long term. I'm sure everything I have said so far is just a theory, and we won't really know how Chelsea's transfer strategy turns out until later. But something we can look at right now is the manager. Angel Mariska, who previously managed Leicester City back into the Premier League, was appointed to take Chelsea back to the top. Although I honestly, honestly don't think Mariska is the main man for Chelsea, I believe he's just a stopgap until a proper manager can come in to lead this team of young players. Mariska has no experience managing the frame, so when the going gets tough in the season, he could crumble under pressure very quickly. It would be great if Mariska can succeed at Chelsea. I have no no vendetta against the man, but just from experience, I know that the Premier League is not a forgiving place to manage. And and as a manager at a club like Chelsea, you must get results, because if you don't, you end up being tossed aside and become old news. If you are a Chelsea fan, you have every reason to be excited for this season. You guys have great players, have great support group, and amazing history. But if you can let me know what your opinions are on what is happening at the moment to your club, regarding transfers, I would really, greatly appreciate it. And just to go over really quickly, just my concerns on the the state of Chelsea Football Club. I just want to remind you that Chelsea spent over 200 million on young, unproven players and appointed an inexperienced manager raising concerns about the club's future. The club's transfer policy lacks confidence in the young players they bring in, creating a competitive environment that hinders, that hinders their development. Chelsea risks having players who underperform and remain on the bench due to their lucrative contracts 
potentially affecting the club's long-term success. And the appointment of Enzo Maresca as manager raises doubt, doubts about his ability to handle the pressure and demands of the Premier League. Despite the excitement surrounding Chelsea's potential, there, there are valid concerns about the club's current direction and strategy.